We used to be a state where both the notion and the reality of privacy were true. But over the last dozen years, Vermont has been transformed into a state where we're being watched. When you use your cell phone, tracking data is sent so your cell provider knows where you are. The government can get that data. Police use automated license plate readers to track cars. Up to 1,800 plates can be captured in an hour. That's 14,400 plates during one officer's eight-hour shift. Police save the data. It shows where you've been. The Border Patrol intermittently runs traffic stops on I-91 at White River Junction, nearly 100 miles from the Canadian border. Officers want to know who you are. Are you a U.S. citizen? Facial recognition software is now being used to ID people for driver's licenses. Your photo is scanned and becomes a digital face print. Your image can be picked out from thousands of photos and video footage. The federal government is developing rules to allow unmanned surveillance drones to fly overhead. Drones are already authorized to patrol Vermont's border with Canada. Cameras on drones can capture what's going on below. We can hardly go anywhere without being tracked or creating a digital trail that pinpoints our whereabouts. That's a creepy feeling when you think about it. We don't like to be followed like criminals. How has all this happened? Since 9-11, the federal government has enlisted local police to help in counterterrorism efforts. The Department of Homeland Security has given Vermont police millions of dollars to buy high-tech surveillance tools. The money often goes straight to police departments. Review is limited. The surveillance upgrades have come into Vermont quietly and without much discussion. Nobody's asking whether spending all this money and buying all this equipment is really making anyone safer not to mention whether it's destroying our privacy. The courts rarely get involved because police say they're just monitoring activities anyone can see or detect. You might be thinking, I haven't done anything wrong. Why is all this information being collected about me? Can they do this? Good questions. Government isn't supposed to pry into our lives unless we're suspected of breaking the law. Hmm. Does the NSA get any of this data? We've been hearing a lot about them. We don't know. It's hard to find out what information the NSA is and isn't collecting and storing. We do know that the NSA has records of all of our phone calls. It probably has access to our internet communications. And it can most likely get our credit card records and other financial transactions. And we do know that the Vermont Fusion Center, officially called the Vermont Information and Analysis Center, is storing some data collected by Vermont officials, such as license plate data. And some of the Fusion Center's data is shared among police agencies. That's the point of the center, a place where all sorts of information gets stored for future use. There's a Fusion Center in every state, but few people know what's happening at them because there's very little oversight. A congressional committee last year said Fusion Centers waste money. The centers don't do what they're designed to do, which is to fight terrorism, and they too often step on people's rights. What's going on? Why don't we know more about this stuff? Government is accountable to us, isn't it? Not the other way around. Dial in, listen up to protect your rights. Catch the ACLU's report, Surveillance on the Northern Border. Go to aclu.vt.org.